So with our output, what you'll see is simple parallax scrolling. And as we scroll, the content itself, which is the text, will scroll, but the background looks as if it remains stagnant. Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'm going to demonstrate a long anticipated tutorial, which is how to create CSS parallax scrolling within your actual HTML design. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at both the PSD example along with the code script. And you can see here in the layer that we've included within our actual Photoshop design. So at first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the actual code that we've included. Now you'll see here that the CSS to achieve parallax is very minimal that we've done. Now, this depends upon your actual parallax script as to how advanced your design versus your output will be. There are some parallax scripts which will actually control each element, but because we're simply demonstrating this, this is a simple to use CSS script which will require some tweaking for responsive designs. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the actual PSD design. Now, Within our CSS script, what we did was we defined basically styles for parallax and the actual backgrounds within each. So you'll see here what we have is we have our background one, we have our background two, and our background three. And these are contained within divs, which are actually styled with BG. So if we go back and we take a look at the actual CSS for this, and let's just close this folder. You'll see here that what we have are styles assigned to both BG and the divs within each BG. So let's go back to our Photoshop file. The next thing we want to look at is our sections, which is our content. So uh, to simply demonstrate this, what we're using is text here. So you can see that we have our text layer one, and this is our secondary text layer, and our third text layer. And this can be any content you want. We're just doing a simple demonstration of using parallax within your actual design. So using these both sections and individual backgrounds, Parallax, what it will do is it will make the background seem as if it's not scrolling, but the content will scroll as you use your mouse. So what we've also included is our code tag, which will directly include our CSS. But if you've watched other tutorials, what you can actually do is you can include this as your own custom plugin, or you can include this uh, externally as a separate CSS file. So it's completely up to you how you want to add this script to your actual uh, design. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this and take a look at the output directly. Okay, so now that we've logged in, what we want to do is tab over to our exports panel, select HTML5, and we want to ensure we include CSS images. This is simply due to the rules of the parallax styles that we're including within our CSS. Depending upon your parallax script, you may be able to use direct images, but for this, we're going to use a background image within our div layer. So we're just going to wait until the actual export completes, and then we're going to take a look at the output in our browser. It shouldn't be too long. It's a very simple and small export, so let's just give it a second. Okay, so once it's complete, what we can do is we can open our browser and we can open our folder with our export. So let's go ahead and open this and we can take a look at our output. So with our output, what you'll see is simple parallax scrolling. And as we scroll, the content itself, which is the text, will scroll, but the background looks as if it remains stagnant. Now, this is the rules of parallax, uh, well, the basic rules. You can get more advanced if you'd like, depending upon your CSS or your JavaScript. But you can see here that you can create super simple parallax. Works with any web-based environment. Try it now with your PSD, all with Export Kit. 